Houston has a lot to offer for foodies and beer lovers, but it's a popular spot for other spirits too. Janelle Hort gives us inside access at Yellow Rose Distillery. Houston definitely isn't the first place that comes to mind when you think of whiskey. Looks good in the glass, it's even better in your mouth. Tucked away off of Post Oak Road is the Space City's first legal distillery, Yellow Rose Whiskey. Ooh, damn, damn good whiskey. And to prove it, they're pulling back the veil giving us inside access to how it's made. There's biology, there's chemistry, there's physics involved. It all starts right here. Some Texas grown yellow corn. Every step of the way, human hands are touching it. We don't have any automation. We don't have any computer systems making decisions for us. Does that smell it right? Does it taste it right? That's head mixologist Houston Ferris. You'll see the process is very sensory, very hands-on, something they say makes them stand out. The main goal is to constantly be putting out products that we are proud of. The flavor is going to be more or less the same because we do the process consistently. We're going to add yeast to, to that mash here. They're going to ferment for three to four days. They're going to give us an alcohol content in about at about 10%. Next, it goes into this big boy, a 650 gallon pot still. It gets heated by steam to a steam jacket on the outside. It's going to boil our beer and then vapors will rise up, come across, get condensed and come back out as a liquid that's higher in alcohol content. They double distill, then do a bit of quality control. And right now it's coming off at about 157 proof. And it's about time to make the cut. If you want to give it a smell. Ooh. Once they make the cut, they add water and it's time to get it barreled up. We age our whiskey here unlike anywhere else in the world. That's because of our climate. Houston is almost always hot and it's almost always humid. And so that causes the whiskey to evaporate and interact with the wood in a very unique way. The Houston way. I'm hoping that as it's given a little bit more time, it just keeps getting better and better and better. If so, let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So good, Yellow Rose Grand Champion Jason McCall had to try it too. We are damn proud of what we do here. They even bottle their labors of love in house. From there, you can pick up a bottle from your local liquor store, or you can come down here, take one of their tours, then have a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is good. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> she got the wow. tough job she there. She did. Well, you know, it certainly explains the flask I saw, you know, when she did uh -huh. this, when she came back to the station. <laughs> so that's She's just got a barrel tucked under the desk. <laughs> My goodness. Nothing She's always in a good mood, too. <laughs> 626 is the time right now. Uh,